Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris. Thanks for stopping by. We've got some big news coming, and we're going to get to all of it. But the biggest thing right now is we're the number one ranked team in the country after our two-game sweep over Florida. And you see Florida drops down to sixth. They're 5-5 five and five on the year. It's kind of a crazy to see them right there. And just kind of going through, you see some ACC schools in there, Clemson, Florida State's down towards the bottom. They're 6-6. Six and six. So we got an 11-2 and two record. Again, I like that we moved up to number one in the country. Let's start it off with recruiting. And I, I hopefully we're, we're making some progress on guys. But here's the top 100. And wow, what jumps out to me real quick is like the number of guys listed in there. Um, lately, it's only been like five or six guys, but the, you see a whole list of, of new guys listed. Um, maybe that's because we're number one. Maybe it's because we beat Florida. Maybe it's both, but I, I'm definitely excited. I want to go through and, and see what we can do. Here's Justin McKinley. He's the top rated guy, new guy that we have here. So he's 62 in the country. Really cool. So he's a relief pitcher and an outfielder, and he's got ratings for both 6'6", 224 out of, out of Pennsylvania. So we're going to make this guy a priority. And, and I don't – I can't remember. Maybe you guys remember, but you see how it says needs three prestige? I wonder if we bumped up in prestige. Maybe that's why we're, we're seeing him on the list now. But regardless, let's go Let's go 50 points on McKinley here. I, I like that he's a dual – um, that he could play both, you know, we could pitch and, and hit. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully we can get there. But look at these other guys. Lots of Boswell, McHenry, Geary. So we've got some new guys to recruit. Again, Sonia and Noor um, are the only two guys that, that have visited campus up until this point. So just kind of, wow, There, there's a lot of names now. We've got a lot of top 100 guys. Again, the the yellow ones are the ones we've already targeted and done some recruiting with, and the white we the white ones uh, we have not. So wow, look at this! We got a whole bunch of new guys on the list here. Again, no no interest level. It looks like a couple guys have a little bit, but that's who I want to focus on this week. A, a bunch of new guys. Um, let's look at Daryl Lutz. I think he said he was out of Kentucky. Um, uh, right now, I'm looking at hitters, pitchers. Like, I want to see if there's some. I'm looking at the power rating. I'd like to get some good hitters. Um, there's a 60 right there. 60 is good. I'd like to see a 70. Um, so yeah, so this is good. So there's a pitcher, a 75 on fastball. So 80 is going to be the highest on these ratings. And um, yeah, I, I like this. There's a there's some interesting guys in here. And, and again, I just want to go over. All these guys if anyone if any if any of these guys are standing out to you but based on their ratings drop it in the comments I always like hearing what you guys have to say in terms of recruiting Bobby Valdez is a pretty good looking catcher so this is good and De La Osa right here he's a guy that's been on our list um, he was like the fifth or sixth guy that we've had on there and then now we've got all these guys that we can go after so I feel good about that I just wish we had more. We only have the 195 on recruiting points. I wish we had more. And again, we docked 50 because we went after McKinley. We wanted to go big on him. And I kind of... So Sonia, obviously, he's our top target in the class. But because he's the second guy and it says draft buzz, I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe steer away from him a little bit. Um, we're, I'm going to come back to him, honestly. And Mike Knorr is another guy that has draft buzz. I'm a little worried about putting too much into these guys. And if they're not going to end up at school, just like it is with, with college baseball uh, and in real life, those are decisions you've got to make. So yeah, I want to focus on some of these other guys, these new guys here. I kind of like all their attributes, to be honest. I'm going to try to just kind of go after the top guys. If we could land a number of guys in the top 100, that'd be great. It looked like we, Looked like we were, you know, we just didn't have as many options before. And, and I'm thinking that these guys are ones, you know, they don't have the draft buzz, so they, they're guys that, that should be able to to enroll in Miami, you know, um, and things like that. So, man, these guys are from all over the place. They're loving the Hurricanes. That's great. And one of the things I did was, you guys know I, I like Ryder Porter. He's a huge priority. 
Um, he's just outside the top 100, just so I have to go find him a different way. Uh, 109. So what I looked was, I was curious if he was the top prospect in Florida, even though he's 109th, but he's actually the second best prospect in Florida. So that's why I want to keep going after him. I'm going big points on him. I, I'm making a priority every time we talk about him, but his, I'm not putting a ton of points on him. So I need to, you know, I need to back it up with some points. So yeah, we're going to go 10 points on Sonia. Grab those and we got the leftover points. But yeah, so uh, Ostrander. So he does not have the draft buzz. He's 31st overall. Um, but yeah, so I, I like uh, with Porter. Again, I think the top rated guy was right around the same rating outside the top 100. So it's kind of interesting that you would never see that, you know, prospects the best in Florida. So here we go. Just a reminder. I want to show you guys real quick. We're, we're going for some new gear. We got to keep Illinois state under a 300 batting average in these two game series. They're terrible three and 12. So we just need to go through these wins and, uh, and just keep it going and just kind of showing you guys some other goals real quick. Just to recap where we're at, how we're looking. Again, this is for the off season. We're getting close. Uh, Brian Van Bell, that's the guy with the the four wins for us. We got to have a pitcher get ten wins, and that, that's going to be the one. And here's what I want to get to too. So Jared Thomas, you guys saw this in the Florida series. So he's out one to two weeks. I want to get to that two I, again. Rank number one, making some moves with recruiting, and now we've got Jared Thomas out. So there's there's a lot going on right now. Again, eleven and two. We're getting ready. So we've got so we've got Illinois State this weekend. And then um the logo. That looks like Elon. So it looks that looks like a three game it's simulating here. A three game series with Elon. And then you saw we go to BC and then we're jumping back into ACC or jumping into ACC play. So I'm excited about that. I just want to get through these games. But here we are. I this is a change that I decided to and it's paying off for me, guys. I like it. So I'm putting Freddie Zamora at lead off. It's not that he was doing bad. I just wanted to get, you know, to kind of jumpstart the offense uh, even more. And you'll, you'll, here's the lineup. So I go Jenkins two instead of leading off. I put Lala at fifth. And it's really just because um, Terrell's, I got, okay, that's a terrible hit. But I'm, I'm forcing, the, okay, there we go. Let's go home and go to second. Oh, no. Oh, that's frustrating. So I was trying to control both runners. I did not want to send the guy third back to third. I wanted to send him home and the guy to second. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got a hit. It worked out. We're off to a good start. I like this. This is what I wanted. I wanted to get off to a good start. Again, Lala's in the five hole. I want to get Terrell. I, I bumped him from four to six. Just I I feel like it's kind of with like with Del Castillo. Is that going to drop? Drop, 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 drop. There we go. That'll be a double. There we go. Another run. Yeah, let's see if we can't get that 10 run rule on these guys and move along pretty quickly. But what I was saying was Del Castillo struggled early. And it's kind of what I'm doing with Terrell. Like, I'm just pressing. Every time the Terrell gets up to bat, I want to hit a home run. And, um, yeah, it, it's suffering. So I'm, I'm going to put him down to the six. And this is exactly what I'm hoping for with just runners on. Oh, there it is. I am just not in a good groove with Terrell. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm trying to be – I'm down 0-2. Looking at strikes, swinging at balls. It's a bad combination. There we go. There we go. That's a base hit. I got to go. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, I didn't get down. That should have been a run. That's good to see Terrell get a base hit. Is that going to drop? Drop, drop, drop. Oh, nice. Terrell's got to stay at third, though. This is a great inning to get this thing started. Again, we're going for the win for sure. Got to look at those. Going for the win, but the big thing is we've got to hold these guys under 300 for the series. We need that new gear. It shouldn't be an issue. I don't even know what their lineup looks like, but just because they're terrible, 
we shouldn't have an issue with it. There we go. Again, Gabe Rivera got him back in there. I'm kind of shuffling those bottom three guys, but I got Rivera back in there in the lineup. Kind of was going with different options in right field. Again, solid. Just need just need him to break out. That's tough, guys. I mean, if you guys... I do not take a lot of walks, so it's it's tough. I'm aggressive, but so we got bases loaded. Um, that's too bad. You know, really good inning. We batted around. Yeah, they can get that. They get that out. But we batted around. We got three runs. Left the bases loaded. But I, I like the start. That's great for the offense. Um, got those wins against Florida, but didn't pile up a bunch of runs. I think it was five. I want to say it was like five two. 5-1, 4-1. You know, it didn't feel like we scored very many runs. There's Van Bell. You got to get a look at his stats. Again, good strikeout numbers. Yeah, their lineup doesn't look that impressive. Just got to pump in strikes. And curious, you know, you know, we talked about a little bit before, but just the, the you know, Brian Van Bell is going to be very interesting to see what he does with his career moving forward if he's, you know, they're probably going to do the five rounds. That's all the. That's what all the talk is. So it, a guy like Brian doesn't project in, in any mock drafts that I've been looking at, and even before the season, just wasn't showing up. Get a strike out there, but just kind of curious to see what he does if he's gonna. So if he goes undrafted, it looks like based on reports that twenty thousand is the most undrafted players can sign for, and so Brian can again he can come back for a sixth year. Um, a sixth collegiate season because he spent three in Juco or and I think he'll be 24 this fall um, so yeah that's a lot to decide for him or does he come back you know he's having a great year this year and maybe hopefully help his draft status and if everything's uh, back to, to regular with normal with the draft you got to figure He's, well, he'd be a, you know, it's just tough. Cause, you know, you wonder where he'll go in the draft, and seniors don't have a lot of leverage with signing bonuses. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot to think about, a lot to take in. But I'm excited to see what he does, and I think oh, there we go. We're off to a good start with him. But there's been, you know, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was an early uh, top 25 for next season. Baseball America put it out. And they had Miami in the 20s, um, 21 to 24, it seemed like. But anyways, I thought it was interesting just because, you know, just that it's so early and it's early for every team. But with Miami, there's so much unknown for next season. They're going to have good players. They'll have a good team. It's just exactly who will be on campus is hard to say. With the draft, maybe guys will move on. And then recruits are got to deal with the same thing. they They've got some fringe recruits um, that are projected in that top 200 prospect list that MLB Pipeline put out. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, are they going to come to school? It's a nice base hit there, but we're just going to keep this thing moving. And there's been some guys that, you know, Miami, if you guys paid attention, inside the U.com, I've been putting out articles of, uh, I've been hearing, you know, guys listed in the transfer portal. Um, some reserves. You're not surprised by. There was a few more that added to the list. Again, Chad Crosby had told Coach that he's not going to return for his senior year. Next season, he's going to move along. Trying to look to play closer to home. I haven't heard exactly where he's going to go. But the, the latest ones were, you know, catcher Daniel Labrador. He's a freshman. And then Jordani Carmona. Another freshman, again, these guys are behind a bunch of guys this year, so they're probably looking at it like, well, if everyone comes back, it's going to be tough to, to jump in the mix, jump ahead of guys, I, I would just guess. Labrador was their fourth catcher this year, and they're bringing in a catcher. Supposed to bring in at least one catcher in the next class, so kind of a numbers game. Both guys are from Dade County. I saw both of them play in high school. Carmona was interesting. He was a guy I thought that was a really good player out of, out of pace. 
And it was a little interesting to see him at UM. Again, just they played 12 games, but he was slotted behind uh, the rest of the freshman uh, pitchers. we got to get that. Oh, my goodness. I That's got to be a catch. That's poor by me, by me. I was in the – I did not get over enough. We're still, we're still cruising along, but – there we go. One, two, three, up 3 0 through 3, I think we are. Just kind of moving along. Again, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about the real Keens. Oh, into two, into two. Here's Terrell. Let's, let's get to Terrell here. Let's let's focus in on him. That'll drop. That has to drop, 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 drop. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a home run. He needs it bad. He only has two this season. He drills that one. And, oh, he's caught it. That's a tough break. I like that he's hitting the ball hard, though. But you guys know with baseball, it's about results. Yeah, but the two two home runs on the year, it's disappointing on my part. Again, I'm pressing too much. I'm trying to, to not press as much. And... and what happens, and this happens with athletes, like you press and then all of a sudden your numbers go down. Hopefully that'll drop. Maybe. Oh, it's so close. Two in the same inning. Trying to stay stay fair. But the numbers drop and then you're pressing to get them back up. And that's kind of what I feel like I'm doing with Terrell. Oh, that's tough. I know I can't hit those, but it looks like I can when it's coming in. But yeah, that's Three tough for sure. Strikes. Let's get a base hit. Now nah, that's not dropping. Again, got Villar back in there. Three and two. I'm taking these walks. Four. It's tough when the pitcher's erratic like that. Because I want to... It's almost like I want to swing at everything. There we go. That's a nice base hit by Rivera. There we go, Toro. Again, he's getting the start. Kind of rotating guys in at the bottom. And kind of just like going back to it, like with the Elon series coming up. Maybe I take a game or two to put in some of these reserves and kind of give you guys a look at some of these other guys that we don't get to see very much. Just because... There's so many uh, regulars in the lineup that I would just not take out. I'd want them to be out there all the time. There's not a lot of position battles. Ah, oh, that's tough. I wanted that. Number two is up next. And Freddie's back up. But anyways, drop in the comments if, if you want to see, you know, maybe some of the other reserves. I just touched on Crosby. Maybe make have him get a spot start. Maybe, you know, Mike Anthony uh, Valdez, a freshman. You know, Jared Thomas is hurt. That's a – oh, that's frustrating. Um, man, <laughs> I got a con concert. That looked terrible. There we go. Oh, that's got to get through. You know, Isaac is back. You know, you know he's, he's a guy that we could go with off the bench. I'm trying to think of the other bench guys. You know, Tyler Page, J.P. Gates. You know, I'm not having a great season with him either. Um, and, and he's not playing this game, but he's a guy I'd like to get get going a little bit. And I know, and, and I forgot to to make sure that he could um, his pitching ratings are there, but I definitely want to get him out of the bullpen, and that'll that'll be something I do in the Elon series for sure. Get him going, and there's three games, so you're gonna see Sacconi get a start um, a, as well. These two game series are killing my rotation. So I'm still going Van Bell and McMahon, and then that second game, what I've been doing with McMahon is giving him like five innings and giving Sacconi like four. Oh, there we go. That's a nice play. I was a little concerned he wasn't going to be able to get there. But that'll be the, the plan for game two here. And stay locked in. I'm gonna I'm doing the doubleheader. I don't know if you guys know. If I said it earlier, probably not, but... That's the plan. I'm I'm doing a doubleheader. We're gonna see if we can get two wins. I wanna I wanna get that new gear. That's important to me. I have no idea what it is. 
or hopefully it looks cool and yeah just get these couple of wins that's a nice side. play get up throw 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 Over to first. got him oh that's so close that's tough oh my goodness okay we got to get out of this jam here and I was feeling good with that first inning batted around got the three runs but now we're, we're 3-0 in the third they might be able to score here we gotta shut them down got that oh my goodness I thought it oh my goodness that looks terrible but what's going on is I'm trying to jump up and then just slipped off and went to the left on the joystick that's tough because it cost me a run I think that you know that would have been a that would have been a third out of the inning oh my goodness Squeezing me on these pitches. Um. Oh my goodness. These are close. Two. Oh. Okay. We got to get back in the strike zone here. There we go. Got that change up again. Fastball change. Curve. High fly ball straight away left field. The left field calls for it. The left fielder makes That's tough on, on that run. You hate to. You just want to shut out, but. It is what it is. So we're three one through three. I like that. Let's just keep this thing moving. Again, I appreciate everyone following along, your support. I know we I know you're gonna you're missing out on the Canes this season, and especially that they were gonna have a really good year. But hopefully this is giving you guys something to to be excited about. You're seeing the guys out here. It's Tony Jenkins. Again, I got him in the two hole for this game. That should drop. There we go. We gotta go two on this one. There we go. He's in easy. Great start to the inning. And Tony's a guy I was excited to see this year. And, and I know I probably say that every year, but you hear so much good stuff with, about him. People that are watching him like him. Um, it's been like that those first two years. And then once season comes along, it just hasn't clicked for him. I remember talking to his summer ball coach last summer, too, and he was impressive. And. You know, when, once he's going well, he gets in. The, you can see why people like him. And he's a guy I thought was going to have a good year. Oh, that's tough. I'm thinking fastball there. That's what. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get a sack fly, power swing a fastball. Got to hold up on that change. But man, that's tough. He th he threw me. He let off with the curve. I think it was a curve. Definitely off speed. Man, this guy's arm slot is crazy. I'm I'm doing okay, but I'm not gonna lie, like it's kind of messing with me a little bit. Ah, oh. too aggressive. This guy. Yeah, that's close. I want to swing at that one too. When I see when I recognize the pitch, I want to swing at it. Oh my goodness. I am taking so many walks. This is crazy. This is completely out of character, but I'm trying I'm trying to be patient. Not easy. Let's get a base hit here though. Can that one drop, please? Oh my goodness. My left-handed hitters cannot find that left field line. Oh, that fork ball, the sloppy thing. So when he's pitching, I'm looking for the color indicator out of his glove is what I'm trying to do. So pink is that fork ball. That's safe. Red's that curve. I think it's curve or slider. And then the fastball, there's no indicator. What's coach doing? Coach is upset. Throw him out. Wonder if they can get thrown. I don't think he can get thrown out, but that'd be cool. So we got to run. So we're four one. Let's get another one. Oh my goodness! I want so many big. Hit. I want Terrell to hit two homers on every swing. I'm just not locked in with him. And I'm not gonna lie, I. I would, per, I, if I have a preference, I'd prefer the right-handed hitters, and I don't know if it's because, um, 
is a ground ball towards second base. There we go. Over to first. Like That's when I played again, not a high level or anything like that, but when I played, I was a right handed hitter. And maybe I see it that way better. Maybe it's just more accustomed. Like maybe if you're a left, if you, if you played and you're a left handed hitter, when the left handed batters come up to, to bat on games, you're cool with it. But I don't know. Even though that's like the best players on the team are left handed. Again, Del Castillo and Terrell I've struggled with. I wonder if it's if I just don't feel as comfortable with the left hand hitters or what it is, but Lala's having a great year, so I, I don't know what to make of it. Maybe it's nothing. I'm not trying to make excuses, just trying to see if I can come up with a reason. Number fifty three is making light. Van Bell's dealing. There we go. I like that. Yeah, he's having a great game. Other than me messing up with Zamora at short. Yeah, they only got the four hits. That's good. Again, I'm going to make sure I keep him under 300. That's going to be a big stat. Cannot drop. There we go. Again, I was trying to think about these left-handed hitters. So that's Villar. And then, you know, Gates I'm not having a great year with, so... And Valar has been solid about what to expect out of him. But yeah, I'm not uh, just kind of thinking. Tuero's doing, doing good in his limited action. Jared Thomas was making progress. Trying to think of the other left-handed hitters. Again, Zamora Jenkins on the right. You got Rivera on the right. Raymond Gill's right, and he's having a good year. So yeah, Gill and Zamora have been the best two hitters, especially with home runs. And then Lala, those are the best three hitters for this season thus far. Fly ball or right, it's in foul territory. Makes the catch in foul territory. Number 38 is batting. Again, a good idea with Tuero. There we go, base hit. I like it. Again, we can put him at right field because I've been shuffling that a little bit. He can play right field, can put him at second or DH. Have some options there. Just trying to take a pitch. I feel like this guy's erratic, so I'm trying to. Don't swing at that. I, that's tough. I wish I could have that first pitch back, but it's okay not to swing at the first one. Oh, is that gone? Get out. Yes. That's that's what we need, guys. There we go. Freddie Zamora. I like it. Move him up to leadoff spot. I like it. Just kind of a little bit more bang. And again, he can steal bases. He's got good speed, so I'm going to work on that with him. Yeah, double a homer today, hitting 415. Yeah, he's have, he's playing really well. He's another guy with the draft. So we chase the pitcher. That's good. With the draft, just what's it, what, what's going to happen with Freddie? Not expected to play this summer if they even if they there were games. Um, but yeah, he's still showing up in that top two hundred. He's right around top one hundred. Get down. Oh my goodness. What that ugly That's so frustrating. I'm not trying to obviously I'm trying to slide. We're gonna get in the lead off the jump and then I gotta slide. I'm hitting the not hitting the right combination of the buds, and it looks awful when it doesn't work out. But here we go. We got Del, Del Castillo here. Oh my goodness, that's tough. Tough line out. We got 13 hits, seven runs, seven to one. Cruising along here. This will get get us through five. Again, with Van Bell pitching so well, I just got to make sure I want to keep getting those wins for him. Because it helps that, that goal there, that season goal. We've got to get that 10 wins for him. And he hasn't lost a, a week, uh, a start. I think this is his, so he's going to try, he's 4-0, and I think he's had four starts. Sounds about right. Maybe he, he, maybe there was a game he didn't want to start. So maybe this is a six weekend. But anyways. Tip. So yeah, curi kind of curious on the comments too. If you guys want to drop in, maybe what you guys are doing without baseball, not just this, watching this, but just 
Have you been watching old games? Do you have a favorite team that you've seen some of their either pa past successful games or even like last year, recent games for them to just to keep your just to have some baseball, especially now we're you know we're into May. We're this is you know we're getting into that time in the summer where. You really are focusing on the baseball season, so I, it's got to be tough. And if you guys are here, you're not just a sports fan. If you're here watching this video, you're a baseball fan for sure. You're a diehard baseball fan. Chances are you love the Hurricanes. I'm glad you're locked in on this in this series. Again, just going to keep this thing going. This will be your summer fix for baseball. We'll keep this thing going. we got to get to the College World Series. Definitely want to win a national title with these guys. I definitely, oh, there we go. Oh, I thought he would have caught that. That's okay. My throws are so shaky from third, but that's why I want him to catch it. But here we go. And Gill's up to bat. Can that drop? Nah. So now we're getting close. So, again, the, the run rule is, is you got to be up by 10 through 7. We are up 7 to 1 top of the six so I've got a couple more innings if I want to try to get that run roll which I which I am I definitely against these bad teams I only want to play seven innings let's move it along let's get to the next game again because I'm playing that double header today there we go man hitting it well I need that to be a double one hopper off the wall but uh but yeah it's gonna be tough now but the, the key is we'll just hold him to a run here. Maybe we can have a big seventh. And it's not that I uh, I don't mind the grind of the innings. Like, it's fine. But when the opportunity's there, let's keep this thing moving again. It was like this earlier in the year. You know, when I see the ACC play around the corner. Oh, my goodness. Van Bell, you saw Van Bell duck there. Coming right back at him pretty hot. But I, I'm excited for ACC play. That's going to be exciting. There's a lot of teams in the top 25. You know, one team I didn't mention earlier, but Boston College was up there, which you would never see. And I think they climbed as high as third, and, and that's crazy. So, anyways, it's going to be tough all the way around. You know, Clemson, Georgia Tech's having a good year. You saw Florida State. They're going to be talented. They're in the top 25. Like I said, Georgia Tech, Virginia, they've always got a good team. Oh, North Carolina. Sure. Louisville's been good. You know, I don't know if they're good on in this season, but certainly that would be a challenge. So, yeah, we've got some big challenges coming up. And maybe, I don't know, guys. Right you could drop in the comments stop. if you have an opinion. Maybe, maybe you don't want to see me play the Elon series. Maybe this stuff just doesn't excite you as much and you want to see me get right into ACC. And I can go ahead and play those on my own without putting them on in the series. And, and I'm totally okay with that. I'm definitely going to play them, though. I'm not going to simulate them. We've got it. I, I like playing all the games in a season. I like that grind. I'm okay with it. But, again, if you guys don't want to see it, that's cool. I, I don't mind. We can, I can move ahead a little bit. Especially with this weekend series here against Illinois State. I know you guys are you're chiming in, you're, you're, you're watching it, but maybe that's a little bit tougher. I had to stay locked in in a series like this. But that's why, but that that's baseball, you know? Not everything is this huge game importance, but the key is we've got to win and keep getting better. Again, I've got to get guys like Terrell going in series like this. I don't have all my guys clicking. Again, I want to get Gates going. I'd like to see Villar pick up his average a little bit. I'd like to be able to figure out what I'm going to do at the DH spot for sure. Yeah, the nice. Getting a lot of strikeouts. That's good. They were trying to run the guy to second, but we shut that down real quick. So 7-1. to one. Again, I think that's at six hits. So we're doing good with that. 10's kind of the number. We definitely don't want 12 is a lot. But if we can keep them uh, 10 or under, I'll feel good about being able to keep them under 300 for the series. 
left side of the infield. Throw to first. That's in time for the Oh my out. goodness, that was a close one. Not that it was he was gonna be safe, was like but man, I don't know how the first baseman kept his foot on ba on the bag. Rivera. Come on. Yes. Good. I like it. Again, he's someone I was just talking about. We got to get that bottom of the order, that right field spot, that DH spot. Whoever's in there, we've got to get him going. I like that he went yard. And maybe I've been impatient with him. Yeah, he's got the home run. That's good. 347, that's pretty good. I know that's higher than these other guys I've been talking about. Gates, Villar, Atuero, you see him 455, but 455, so that's probably, that's not very many at bats. But man, this dude just hits. Yeah, get to second. Get down. There we go. I always try to slide. I always like sliding, except for that one. I don't, I don't know what happened on that one earlier in the game, not sliding into home. Here we go. We got some more. Uh, can that drop? Can we get to third? He makes the catch. Yeah, that was tough. It was a line out. My guy was kind of halfway, a not halfway, but he was just off the back. So to go back to second and to third, I thought it would be too risky. Man, that's a slider away. Goodness. Yeah, so Tony, I, I like that we moved him up to the leadoff spot. That was a good recommendation. And he did well, but I just want to move him, move some more up there. And kind of shuffle this up a little bit. Again, Jenkins. Samora in those top two, and then Lala. Nice. That's got it. That's a run. Get to second on a double. That's a nice play. That's a good sequence right there. I like that. Guys, we're getting, you know, we're, we're, we're inching closer to that 10 run rule. We'll take that. So 9 to 1, but we've got two outs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's tough. That's all right. We'll keep this thing going. Rawlings gold glove play. Whatever it takes against the Hurricanes. Through seven, but I want to warm up some guys. I want to get Garland warmed up. I hate seeing high ERAs for the pitchers. So if there's a way to sneak in an inning and kind of lower that number. So that 771 is glaring to me. And we got a huge lead, so kind of want to just give him some work. And again, I've got to get Gates going out of the bullpen. Make sure he's got pitching stats and can get him in there. And and that'll, that'll be the plan for next series. Just kind of slipped my mind for this one. Quickly in a hole, zero and two. Let's finish him off here. Fly ball to straightaway center. He'll settle under that lazy fly ball and makes the catch to retire. And there's not a lot of opportunities in two game series. That's why I say it's it's gonna be good for Gates next series. I don't want to try forcing him in next game. Simply be, because I, I like going with only a two game series, I want to go McMahon and Sacconi, and I'm okay with five innings, four innings. Get the win for McMahon, five innings, and then let Sacconi get all four of the next innings. That's why that's why I say like the Elon series would be good. Oh my goodness, because there's three games and I can cut back on my on my staff next week. Maybe that'll be something to do. Maybe just go five innings for the starters, get the wins, and then let the the bullpen guys just clean up. Hopefully, there's three straight seven inning games. There's really no reason. There's no reason this one's... I know 9-1 to one is close to 10-run lead. But it is disappointing a little bit. Again, just being greedy, but... Gotta get a hit here. Oh, my goodness. High fastball. Couldn't catch up with it. Breaking ball outside off of the plate. See if I can get a hit with Terrell here. This is fouled off out of Don't catch that. Oh, and my goodness. Well, I mean, when you're struggling, you're struggling, right? I mean, look at that play. Again, I know Van Bell's probably still has some more gas, and he probably could finish out the game, but I like getting other guys in there. 
The Hurricanes are making a sub I'm going to give Garland an inning. And probably, oh, I don't know who else to put in. If we have to go nine innings. Or we're going to have to go nine because we already hit in the eighth. Yeah, it, it, it would, uh, the game just doesn't stop. That's, uh, my understanding is that, now that I think about it, I don't think it does. I think that the the losing team would get a chance to hit to complete the, the game. I would guess. I don't think it's as automatic. But regardless, there we go. At least we cut that ball off. But And right now, it's not about the, the runs. Again, we, we need to limit the hits. We've got to keep them under 300 for the series. Uh, clearly, we're not going to lose this game, but I don't want to just start giving up hits at the end. And Garland gets his opportunity. I'm going to have to yank him already. Like, I can't let let him just start giving up hits here. Quickly falls behind Owen too. We got to get there, Lala. There we go. Lala with good speed. That was important. Again, we don't want this any to get out of hand or anything like that. One on one out. Knee high breaking ball for a strike. It's got to stay locked in. Again, we got the big lead. We're winding down here. Again, we're going to come back for game two. Let's get that. There we go. Nice play by Zamora. We're just doing some practice throws. Got two outs. Let's get out of this. I like this. Let's. I like that. Garland's kind of bounced back. There we go. Kind of locking in here. And Garland's an interesting one for the future as well. He was someone that I thought maybe that they were going to go to for that fifth starter role. And it was actually coming up on the season like that. Right before the season was canceled. You know, they, they had to go to four because of the midweek. But they were getting ready to get into some double midweek games. And obviously they could go Tyler Kaiser. Uh, who started last year, but I know they liked him out of the bullpen. And I think that was the plan this year. I think they were going to do that. I want to warm up. Let, let, who should we warm up here? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go Albert just because, again, same philosophy with Garland, that high ERA. we got to get him under 13.5. we got to get him under 10. I don't, I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but definitely want to get that done. Hopefully a clean inning. That's a that's nice, just right up the right middle. We'll take a hit like that again. We've been smoking some balls and they've been catching them, so we'll take that hit right there. Good, Lewis Tuero, right here. Oh man, that's okay. Two hit day. We'll take that. Zamora's got two hits. Let's see if we can add another big hit here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been struggling with that off-speed pitches a little bit today. But here we go. Yeah, let's make a move. Let's get Albert in there. Let's finish this game off again. They got seven hits. I feel good about that in terms of the 300. We just got to make sure. I, I would definitely take that. That would be good for the good start for the series. Get that. Get out there. Oh, man, I did not time that right. Oh, my goodness, that's going to be a base hit. I thought I needed to dive. It was tough because you can't see the, the trajectory of the ball. little impatient, but that was tough. Freddie got out there, though. Showed good speed getting out there. I'll know that for next time. Okay, let's see if we can get a double play here. Yeah, we'll take this out. The third baseman will make the catch. I always try to throw back to first. I even tried doing it with the right fielder. Oh, that was close. I, I don't know if it bounced, but man, I would, I would have taken it out there. There we go. Let's see if we can strike him out. This guy looks like a small pitcher. Albert's a little bit bigger than that. And that's one thing that you can't change with this game with the with the attributes, the height, weights, and things like that. So 
let's put this guy away. There we go. Oh, okay, let's turn two. I wanted to turn two, but I thought it'd be risky. It was close. Maybe I could have done it, but I figured let's just get one because, again, we got a huge lead. Get there. Oh, my goodness. Now we're just giving up hits. Okay. And, again, not a lot of pressure because we still have a whole other game to go, but I don't like that we're giving up hits late in the, late in the game here. Oh, that's so close. How is that not a strike? Okay. We gotta tell the ump we got a double header here. Fastball over the heart of the plate. Strike. All right, that should do it. There we go. That's a good win. Again. We could have gotten a little ahead of ourselves with the number one ranking, the two two game sweep over Florida. This isn't a big game. It's not even a conference game. But we got the got the win nine to one. We'll take it. So they end up with nine hits. That's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a good start um, to keep them under three hundred. Seventeen hits for us again. I, I'm feeling like I'm leaving some runs out there, but. Um, yeah, that's baseball. You know, you, you, you search for per perfection. You, you rarely get it in this game. There's so many frustrating at-bats and things you wish you could have back, but we'll just keep this thing moving. Yeah, I want to take a look. Nine for uh, nine hits for them. So out of 36, so hitting 250, so that's good. So here we go, guys. The second game, we need to go ahead and complete the sweep. We need to get that new gear by meeting the challenge, by keeping them under 300. Again, this is going to be that Saturday game. We're going Saturday afternoon. We're keeping some more at the at the leadoff spot. You're getting a, maybe a better look at the stadium here in Illinois, and I like that. That's a good start for Zamora. We're going to try and steal second. See a look at the, today's roster. Today's lineup again. One change. I go with Quinones at DH. Get down. Oh my goodness! I gotta quit doing that. I've got to hit the right buttons. I'm trying to lead off and steal a slide. And the sequence is not good. And it looks like I'm overrunning the bag. Oh my goodness! I'm not trying to go steal second and the third on one throw. I promise you that. But anyways, we've got to move past it. Let's see if we can keep it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so tough first inning. Got a base hit by Zamora. I like to see him on a roll. McMahon's going to be getting this start. I'm excited about that. Again, excited about seeing where he goes in the draft. We've got to get that ERA down, the 4 3 5. We've got to get the strikeouts up. Only 8 and 29 innings. And sometimes I, I throw – essentially I throw a lot of strikes, so it makes it – which in a way makes it hard to strike out batters. I know that sounds a little backwards, but I think on this game, if you, th you start throwing outside the zone on two strikes, I think, especially if you're ahead, I think you can get more strikeouts. Um, I think that's one reason why I don't get very, as many. But the only thing I would say is like I get a lot of strikeouts with Van Bell, and I do better with him than um, any other pitcher, to be honest. And so there's certainly an opportunity... But yeah, I'll take this. I'll take the one pitch and get an out out of it. We'll take that. We'll just keep this thing moving. This is their best hitter. Look, he's got 85s. He has to be their best hitter. 85 ratings on both. Yeah, they're, that'll... Okay, nice play. Rivera had that huge game in game one with the home run. Hopefully it carries over in game two. There we go, up the middle. Again, I'm going Gil, Lala, Terrell, that 4-5-6 spot. 
and the lineup a little bit, you know, different for sure than what I did the first 10 to 15 games. But again, just trying to mix up, trying to help out Terrell, ease up some pressure. Plus, like it gets it gets some RBI opportunities in theory. Just like this, like Lala's having such a good year. And, and really, like the way Lala is hitting, I probably should just put him hit third. I mean, really, he's getting so many hits. Oh my goodness. That's not what I wanted for Terrell. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, that's what I need to do before the next series. If he continues to struggle this game, I've got to go to the the batting cages with Alex Terrell. Oh my goodness. Focused on Terrell and swinging a miss on with Rivera, one thing at a time. But I just got to get Alex going. That's it. There we go. I gotta hold him up though. I can't go home on that. So we got bases loaded. I'll take that, but. We need some doubles in here, some triples, obviously a home run. Get through. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was close. I need a little, need a little speed. Here's Isaac here. Giving him an opportunity. He's got one here. Bases loaded. Make it happen. Essentially, guys like this that get the opportunity, if they capitalize, we keep them in there. Oh my goodness, that ugly swing. I've got to, I think, basically when you, when you, the pitch goes away, you've definitely got to swing away and kind of try to hit it to right field more. I just didn't wait enough, it looks like. Or something. I know he doesn't have high ratings, but I feel like i got to be better in that situation. Again, we just had to keep going with McMahon. McMahon and, and Slade, the... You know, one thing's interesting with, with Slade, and McMahon's in the same spot because he's a junior, but obviously you're, you're assuming he's going, but Slade's a third-year sophomore, and maybe he does stuff like Suarez where he just comes back and maybe where he's going to get drafted if it's in that 25 to 35 range, which is kind of what I've been seeing in the mock draft. So maybe Slade decides, hey, I could be a top 10 pick the next year. You know, a guy that that's showed flashes but hasn't put together. You know, last year when he was a freshman, he had a good ball. good season. But um, you definitely you definitely think there's more to come with Slade. So maybe he's going to look at it like, well, I'll come back the next year at Miami and do the draft thing over again in the sense to to try to be even higher than where he would be picked this year. But I say that. And it's just so tough for guys to pass up on that opportunity. To and certainly you understand, I mean, you understand why, essentially why any player leaves early to be drafted. I know there's a lot of criticism. It doesn't matter their sport. Everyone wants to say, he shouldn't go out. He shouldn't, he should stay in school. And I understand. But I look at it like that's your perspective in terms of you want him playing for your team. I've always had the mentality that I understand why players leave, and I don't. I don't get into the, the argument. I I'm okay. I don't have a strong opinion. And when guys leave early, and this one goes with you know more so with football, and obviously there's a lot of talk with basketball. I understand the development part, and basketball's even. I think basketball has to do more with. You know, if your development isn't all the way there. It can be a little bit tougher going into the NBA and slotted behind so many guys. But it's still the same thing. If they decide to leave early, I'm all for it. I, I don't have an opinion that they should stay. And baseball is way different with the way the draft works. But certainly if they, because they actually get offered money when they get drafted and then they decide. And I know that they're, there's been multiple stories over the years. This is going back, not the, this five-round draft stuff, but guys that'll say, okay, if I'm not a whatever round pick, these are high school guys in particular, I'll go to school and things like that. Lo and behold, they end up being late-round picks and they still sign. You know, like once once you uh, – okay, let's get – oh, my goodness, you guys – I cannot get this down. Oh my goodness. I cannot get this down. 
I wanted to sneak a st- get a steal in there, but man, I am terrible. It has not been like this all season. For some reason, I am hitting all the wrong combinations. Oh my goodness, it looks so bad when that happens. But anyways, that's just that's my thoughts on the draft. And that's a terrible way to end the third inning. But yeah, that's how I feel. I just feel like players. I definitely understand it. I definitely understand why they go. I don't have an opinion if they leave early. I don't think it's a bad decision. Like a lot of people, even not just fans, journalists too. Everyone chimes in on what players should do with their careers. And maybe the conversation gets a little tighter if they ever decide to pay college athletes. Okay, we're we're doing well. We got the five hits. They only have one. I feel good about that. But we're we're scoreless through three. Kind of like this ballpark. It's a little bit different. Again, anytime we play a road team without their stadium in the game, I try to mix it up. So I'm trying to keep track, make sure this is what Illinois State's you know stadium looks like. And I we still have some more stadiums to go. I don't know why we're going to okay. No way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like imagine if you made this play. What in the he he did a somersault and then threw it and almost got me out. My goodness. Missed outside with a breaking pitch. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't know why we're at going to Illinois State. But it gives you a chance to look at the ballpark. There we go. He's been so clutch. And Lala, you know, Lala's got the shades in the day game. The fielder comes up with it, throws towards I'm all over the place. Get down. That was a little risky, but uh, we made it happen. We made it work. I want to go second and third there. But anyways. Oh, my goodness. I wish they'd just throw, like, one fastball right down the middle. Let me get into a groove. Let me get my confidence back with them. We'll take a base hit. RBI. We gotta start baby steps. We'll take that. Throw to third. Number thirty is on with a base hit. Runners. But that's good. That's good. So we got a one-zero lead. I like it. Get over his head. Oh my goodness. Number twenty-seven is the That's tough because that, that's definitely a run if it gets by him. Oh my goodness. Two gone. Throw to first. Okay. Play a score to fielders. I'm getting hits. I need to get more runs. Oh, my goodness. Three straight outs to infield the corners. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's keep this thing going with McMahon. Again, we've got to get that new gear. That new apparel on the goal. Hopefully, they start coming more often. I don't like having to wait. For these goals. Hit on the ground toward the hole. The nice play by Raymond Gill at third. I like that. Shout out to Gulliver Prep. And we're keeping this thing going. If you guys are still locked in, definitely appreciate your support. Hit the like button if you haven't done that already. Make sure you subscribe. I didn't ask earlier, but if, you, if you're here now and you haven't subscribed yet, Definitely do that because you don't want to miss out on these videos. Again, we're doing this weekly. This series comes out on Saturdays. I'll keep that going. Check out all of the other series. If you haven't checked them out, and, and obviously if, what, what can help too is if you hit the bell and get the notifications, that, then you won't miss anything, so that helps too. So yeah definitely drop it in the comments if you guys are watching this now i want to hear from you what you think about this team this series we can talk about this here you know what you what you're seeing with this one but i'm kind of curious what you think about the next series and also do you want to see it or should i just move it along i'm kind of interested to, to think about just kind of skipping it and just kind of show you guys that acc series i want to get an acc play But I'm okay if you guys like seeing them all. And this was different because usually, you know, sometimes I've been skipping these kind of games, but I want to give you two games worth here. Talk a little bit about baseball, a little bit about the season.
Talking about the draft, it's going to be really interesting. And one thing that, you know, the big thing to be excited about for next year's team, you know, Adrian Del Castillo will be back. He's a, this was his second season, so he's not, and he's not draft eligible. So that's a great place to start. Oh my goodness. When you're trying to build a team, uh, a successful season, uh, to have a great player like that, that, that certainly helps. That's good. That's a nice play. Man, he's having a. I like him at the leadoff spot. The throw to second. I'm gonna keep the doing that. Right and it's kind of just to get him some more at bats, but I really like him as a table setter. And he's. And I know he's hit third a lot at UM. And he led off for a while too in his career. But I, I like him at the leadoff spot. I, and plus, I like a, a little extra. Can I get out, get out, get out. Nice. I like it. It's a nice home run. Not hitting as many home runs this series as I would hope, but the ones that we've hit, oh, we'll take them for sure. Adrian Del Castillo. That's the third one of the series, so Rivera hit one, and then Zamora hit one. So, And Adrian, I know Freddie and, and Raymond lead the team with six homers, and Adrian's probably got about – Four or five, I would guess. And I know Terrell's at two. two, hits and, two and, and Lala's got like four or five as well. Oh, I tried to wait on that. I did not have my timing right. Got to time the delivery. Don't call that. My goodness. That, that's painting it right there, though. My goodness. It's fouled away. Oh my, oh, my goodness. You know, you're midway through that swing, and you're just like, no, I, I take it back. Right. And you guys see it right there. Like, I have the op I have the potential to, to lay off pitches. I walked all the time last game, but, man, sometimes I have a hard time. And then that one, they're doing circle, high circle change right there. I can't do anything with it. He's pumping in a fastball on me. So, again, I want that 10 run rule, and not, we're not even close this game. 3 0, we're in the top of the fifth. Moving right along, though. 2 2. Oh, that's tough. Going high slider. That was outside the zone. Yeah, they only got two hits. McMahon's been dealing. I got Slade warming up. I, th I had him warming up in inning two early, but we'll keep him there. I'm going to bring him out for the six because, again, I'm trying to get innings for him. I think he did. These two-game series doesn't allow me to. I don't want to just put him in for an inning on the weekend in relief. I'd like to get him all for the next the rest of the game, but obviously I'm trying to only go seven innings. It doesn't look like it's going to happen this game unless something crazy happens. Doing well, just not uh, not scoring enough runs. There we go. Nice play by Terrell. Number eight is 0 for 1 today. Breaking pitch on the corner for a strike. Oh, I might have a chance at this. No, not so much. I, I, I always try to. It's cool making plays up against the wall. A ground ball headed for the hole. The throw to first. The junior has I, at some point, and that's never going to happen. The old 8-3 put out on a base in. hit. But um, I definitely want to get that one from right field. It hardly, it's, it's like one of the coolest things in baseball. It hardly ever happens. Maybe a pitcher gets thrown out because if they're playing shallow, you've seen that sometimes. But I think it's so cool. In video games, there we the go. Right you have a shot. I don't think I could get one in this game, but I'm always person. trying. I definitely want to try to get that right fielder to gun a guy out at first on a hit. 
he's out of there. But one thing, I mean, that's obviously cool. One thing I really like with, with baseball, it doesn't happen a lot, but I love the creativity when it happens. Anytime an outfielder throws, or it could be any any fielder, but you see it with outfielders, throwing behind a runner, and he's like going back to the base, and he's like guessing that, you know, maybe it's third base, for example. The right fielder, instead of throwing it home, throws it to third while the guy's running run on third, and he's actually going back to the bag instead of trying to steal or trying to get home. And he kind of like, he read it perfectly. You know, the outfitter assumed that's what was going to happen. So I like seeing that when they, th you know, second base can happen if a guy rounds second too big. And then, oh my goodness. See, I hate when that happens. That looks, I was glad it didn't happen earlier, but that's exactly what, what, what has happened this season sometimes. Sometimes the ball, for some reason, you're out, you're, Outfitters can get on the wrong track and then it just keeps going. And they're not fast enough to get over there to change that. No, now, oh my goodness. That's two tough sequences defensively. This kind of happens with McMahon. Oh, we got Slade in here. Never mind. I, I was thinking that was McMahon where he has like an inning where things are going well. But yeah, Slade, we got Slade in here. Struggling a little bit. I just keep getting guys on base. Three to one. Not worried about that. We're going to score more runs. Oh my goodness. A little late reaction on that. I needed to dive. Let's throw him out at home. Come on. Oh my goodness. Three to two. What in the world is going on here? We're not playing like the number one team in the country. Again, I'm getting... Not lackadaisical, just not focusing enough on defense here. Locking in on defense on every play. I don't like how that ball rolled by Jenkins. The Zamora thing was just weird. Get there. Oh my goodness. This has not been good. Maybe I should not have taken out McMahon. Oh my goodness. Three to two, no outs, bases loaded. Okay, there's one out. Don't drop it. Oh, that's nice. I thought that definitely they would go home, but that's a good throw. Okay, we'll take it. So we got one out. All right, bases loaded. It's definitely throwing the cold zones. Pump in a fastball. There, a 90 miles an hour. We'll take it. Let's go. I've got to focus here. We're kind of getting later later stages of the game. And I thought this would be a, an easy win, and it should be, but that's not what the situation is. That's not the scenario right now. Got to get out of this jam. Got to get a strikeout. Nice. 93 miles an hour. I like it. There we go. Okay, two outs. We got to figure out how to get this guy out. Let's get out of this jam. There it is. Strike one. Such a big pitch in baseball. Yeah, strike one. Huge fan. Let's go. All right. Let's go high. Chase it. Get there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, guys, somehow, okay, I've got a lock in the last few innings, but it's three to two here. I did not pitch very well that inning. Did not play good on defense, but bottom line, three runs in a game is going to be tough to win, so we've got to get our offense going. There we go, base hit. There we go, that's how we respond. Freddie Zamora, let's go. Let's keep this thing rolling. Let's have a big inning. Get through. There we go. That's all we need. We're not worried about the 10 run. We got to just win this game. It would be such a disappointment not to win against this team that has really struggled. Not going to drop. There we go. That'll drop. That'll drop. We'll take it. Again, I want doubles, triples, and homers, but those singles, these three straight singles, I'll definitely, definitely take. Here we go. Let's not overthink it. We've got to get a run here. Oh, my goodness. I want to go power swing because I definitely want to sack fly at least. But I'd love an extra base hit here. Oh, my goodness. Okay.
Oh my goodness. That's so frustrating. Okay. That is so frustrating. I need a drop. I need a drop. Drop, drop, drop. There we go. Get in there. We got a run out of it. Four singles. Oh, we got two runs. He must have thought that was going to get caught. So we had two guys like score at the same time. I was a little confused. I look up there's runners on first and second. Yeah, but yeah, because it was three to two. Foul. Don't catch that. Okay, get out. We'll take it. Five to two. That definitely feels a lot better. Get over. There we go. Send them. Get down. Yes, there we go. Six to two. There we go. That's how we respond. Terrell. I need a big hit from Terrell. Get, oh my goodness. We've got to hit the batting cages after this series. Oh no. Drop it. Not perfect, but we got three runs out of it. We gotta settle in with Slade. I don't like how that last inning ended up. I will say this, and again, not making excuses because I've got to do better, and he's certainly a good enough pitcher to be successful. But I notice the difference from McMahon to Slade is quite different in terms of his the bar. Um, the timing is a little bit different, and I've noted this has happened in other games too, where. When they pitch in the same game, I kind of struggle a little bit making that adjustment. Just because there's like a slight difference. And it throws off my timing just enough. Let's go ahead and finish this off. We've got two outs. I like this. There we go. There we go. Strike two. Let's get a strikeout here. I want more strikeouts. If you guys are somehow, if you guys are still listening, do hashtag more strikeouts. I want to see more strikeouts in the comments because I want more strikeouts. Like, you're not. Oh my goodness. That's got to be an out. Safe at first. They're they're getting some hits off Slate. We still got. I think we're fine on this 300 thing. Oh my goodness. I feel like I don't want to take him out, but my goodness, we're going to win the game. I'm not worried about that. There, we're in a good spot. We can still get runs. We just have to lock in a little bit better on offense to get more runs. But I am worried about this new gear. Like that's what I want. I want. That's what we're shooting for. And I know it shouldn't be a huge focal point, but these hits are just racking up. We've got to throw them out. Get them. There we go. Still counts as a hit, but my goodness. That's a nice play by Jordan Lala. He's been our, I don't know if he's been, he's probably been our team MVP so far. I don't know yet. We don't have to vote on that yet. I, uh, oh, and speaking of that, I need to. So they got 10 hits already. My goodness. I need to check. I haven't showed you guys. Maybe I'll do that next uh, episode as well. Just do we have some guys up for all American honors, those kind of things? I don't think, you know, there's been some guys have some good seasons, but I know how this game works where other guys just have some monster years. And that's kind of how college baseball goes. So I, I'm looking. I want to see what they're hitting. So they're hitting 323. Okay, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous, not going to lie. Because that's going to put it really close, guys. Because they had the nine hits in the opener, so that means, and they hit 250. Which is good, that's obviously a good start. But now, if they're going well over 300, we've got to be careful. That's tough because you hit it so well in the gap, you want that to fall. Okay, so we're going to the eighth. We've got to get six more outs. 
Obviously, if we go six for six here, they're not going to hit 300 for the series. That foul ball caught the catcher. Quickly in a hole, oh and, two. and I know that's crazy that, that that's such a focal point because we need to worry about being six to two and just winning and and that's all part of it but this game you got to accomplish these goals if you want better results cooler items better recruits the whole thing you got to get all these goals got to accomplish them all and this is our only our second one i don't know if we're going to get accomplish every single goal as they as they move up and stuff but especially early on i definitely want to get all this new stuff i can't wait for the facilities goal like the I want to be able to get some, maybe there's some cool stuff there too. Again, I hope they come more often. Always got to check the email. Get that get that notification. The first one we got were the new bats and they look really cool. We broke those out for the Florida series. I like that they're green. Match the uniforms a little bit. Looks pretty cool. I wish you could do more with the uniforms with this game. Um, you only get just the, I, we just have the home in the way, the whites and the grays, but that's just nitpicking and this game's so cool. Love this game. College baseball. I can't believe there's a video game for college baseball. And they actually made two of them. This is the second one. It's the last one. So it's from 2007. There we go. Still at 10 hits. I feel good about that. We're going to hit some new gear coming up shortly. I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully we, we don't have any issues in the ninth. Let's get a couple There's more a runs. That's not going to do it, but hopefully we get a couple more runs here. Again, we got that 9-1 to one win. I'd like to 6-2. to two, It's good, but I'd like to add to it. We've got our best hitters up. Me to the order. That's tough. I wanted to swing at that. You guys know I wanted to swing at that. That high fastball. Send that to the wall. But I'm laying off. Laying off that one too. He's throwing some trash pitches. We got a 3-0 count. I wish it was an indicator where it's like right down the middle. Oh, that was right down the middle. And I was a little late, a little off. That's so frustrating. Do it again. Drop, drop, drop. Oh my goodness. That's got to be a double. Three for four for Gill, though. Yeah, I'm laying off pitches. You know, I, I feel like I'm doing a good job laying off pitches, but it, the, the ball's in the zone. I just feel like I'm miss hitting them a lot of balls in the zone. But here we go, guys. Is up next. I feel good because if they only get 10 hits, get oh, line. my goodness. If they only had 10 hits for the game, we're going to – that'd be under 300. The so there's a hit there. So now it's 11. I got to check this. We're going to warm up our bullpen. Again, it's not just about winning. We've got – I feel like he's just given up so many hits. We gotta close this thing out here. Gotta close it out. We're in the ninth. We're gonna win this. I'm not worried about that. What are they hitting though? This game, 11 for 35, 314. Okay, all right, no more hits. I wonder if they know. Do they know I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to get new gear? Is that why they're they're really pressing here? Drop. There's a line drive into left. Oh my the gosh. Throw to second. He's on with a single. Oh my Best. goodness. The freshman is on with number fifteen is digging in. Needed that to drop right in his glove. Coach is on his way out to the mat. Got it. We got to get him going. That's good. Hopefully that he responds with results. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh, I missed it. You know what? 
That might not be a bat. Well, I'm trying to win a game. I'm trying to do so much right now. But at least I get the extra at bat to try to get an extra out. Just to affect that batting average. I can't believe this would. I bet this kind of stuff happens in real baseball a lot more, like in, in the pros, in terms of contracts and trying to hit numbers and stuff. Way more than it's talked about. I remember hearing a funny story about a, a an NBA player who was gonna who was set to get a bonus if he hit a three point percentage. And once he reached that, it's like he went like 15, 16 games without attempting another three the rest of the season so he could get his bonus. Stuff like that, I guarantee it happens. It just doesn't get talked about enough. And players are great. I mean, I, with the amount of money that's in professional sports, they do such a good job of not talking about it. But you know, and like I've talked to some guys off the record and even guys that I've not covered but, but have been friends with, just about just it's stuff and they do side. talk about Makes the money and the contracts and trying to go to better teams and all kinds of stuff and so you know that that's an actual thing that they think about that's why it's so crazy that they are able to block that out most a lot of them and then the just kind of stay forward yeah this, I know you guys probably think this is silly but look we got to look real quick they got the 12 hits Hitting 316. Yeah, we got to get out of this. So we got a lefty lefty matchup for the final out. We got it. Got to do it for the new gear. I'm doing the average real quick. But yeah, he's definitely under 300 with 250. Uh, this will work here. If I just get this guy out, Carson's going to do it for the squad. Give everybody some new gear, Carson. Okay, there we go. Pump in a slider. I want to go all sliders, to be honest with you. We can go in and out. I'm going to move it around, but I definitely want to go all sliders. Stri oh, my goodness. How is that not a strike? Okay. Do it for the squad. It's just like giving the fans new tacos. You know, when they have those, those 10 run, you know, in a game or different sports with basketball, the whole thing where you get the, the free giveaways. That's what we're doing it for the squad. We got to get some new gear. Okay, we got to get them out. Get him. Okay, go, 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 go. Get over there. Yes, Carson Palmquist. He deserves a huge Gatorade bath right now. Someone, I know it doesn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, but we just got new gear and we needed it. We held him under 300 for the series. We got a quick little sweep. Six to two. The runs could have been more. The 16 to hits are great. And here it is, guys. We got that new apparel. Look, that level one gear should help out the pitchers. Nice little shirts. Nothing big, but it looks great. I'm glad we have it. And again, thanks for everybody who tuned in. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video if you like this series. Go to InsideTheU.com for all your coverage of the Miami Hurricanes. And hit me up on Twitter, at InsideTheU. Thanks again for watching.